All right, I'm going through all of the photos and videos from this, the Xiaomi Mi Note 10. Uh, Issa and I actually took it out for a day in LA to one of my favorite spots, the Broad Museum. So the majority of what you're going to see in this video is from this particular phone. Um, it has five cameras on the back, a 32 megapixel front-facing camera. Uh, but of course, the main thing that everyone's going to talk about with this phone is the main sensor at 108 megapixels. That's nuts. Let's pop into it. It's a vlog of LA using the Xiaomi Mi Note 10. Let's pop in. I figure I should start this off right. This is a real world camera test with a brand new Xiaomi Mi Note 10. I'm doing one too. Oh, well, okay. I'm currently at 92% as we leave to head out for a kind of a day, an afternoon, maybe an evening out in Los Angeles. First stop being downtown LA to the Broad Museum. Front facing camera with 32 megapixels, but this is obviously video, 1080p video on the front. Uh, but yeah, uh, we're going to, I don't really do the like battery check-ins, but I figure I might as well because this phone has a crazy 5260 milliamp hour battery inside and running on the Snapdragon 730G, well, that should mean that this thing can last at least all day. <laughs> Museum. We're heading over to the tablet right now because the infinity room is a thing here and maybe we'll be able to get it, but we're not too sure yet. Hopefully the wait is not too bad. So it comes down to the obvious question, can you use all 108 megapixels to good effect? Well, that's not really the point. Uh, what the point really is, is to use uh, four of those pixels at a time so that it's like one big pixel. So it's called pixel binning, that's the actual term. And what you get instead are 27 megapixel final photos that have better detail because of the oversampling that is occurring. Initial impressions are honestly good. And really, it's not going to be one of those uh, magical things where you get a 108 megapixel photo, you zoom in and it's incredibly clear. No, definitely not. Uh, just like with any other smartphone, you have to have the best possible lighting conditions in order to make that happen. What I really enjoyed though is the stabilization on the main sensor. You're using that main sensor for video most of the time. You can always switch over to the wide angle or you can do zoom modes at two, five, or even higher than that, but you can't do that while you're recording. to turn off the watermark. That's the thing with these uh, Xiaomi phones, there's always the watermark by default. <laughs> so let me pop in there, turn it off, but uh, let me do that first and then I'll talk about a couple of things that I'm already enjoying off this phone. All right, so right off the bat, uh, you know I'm gonna love these vlog modes that are in the video mode on this camera. It's basically a guide that will just tell you, you know, shoot whatever you want and we'll add the effects in for you. And then it creates this, I don't know, 11 to 15 second little reel that you can create a bunch of them, maybe just use them as like interstitials between your main segments in your vlog. Uh, and it's a really nice way of adding some uh, dynamic elements into the video. So it's nice that Xiaomi thought about that. By the way, in those vlog modes, you can't use the other lenses. So it's a tiny bit restricting while also being really fun and useful. So something to kind of keep in mind. This is doing a good job. At least it's definitely using that wide angle lens for this video, but also, as is a big deal with a phone like this, 4K recording using a wide-angle lens. You know, I got to admit, uh, the Snapdragon 730G is kind of showing its colors here. It's not supposed to be the fastest, latest, greatest processor by Qualcomm, and I think that's what I'm actually experiencing right now, especially in the camera app, which is what I'm going to be using most on this phone today. Uh, trying to go through the different modes, the different lenses, there are five cameras on the back, so there's a lot of processing that has to be done. And even just the processing of the main photos themselves might take a little bit. 
it's not that bad. It's not super slow or anything like that, but it is something you notice, especially when you're shooting over and over again, back to back to back, like I am right now. I've been pushing this thing for a while. It's uh, been about an hour or so here in the bro, just getting a bunch of 4K footage, a bunch of photos, some 108s, obviously. <laughs> it's cool that we can call it that. Anyway, uh, down to 70%, so uh, a loss of about 22% battery so far. This is such a typical day in LA for me. Whenever I bring people here, it's museum, Grand Central Market, which we're going to right now, and then something else. I don't know what we're gonna do after this, but it's these two things. I always, I've made this walk so many times by now. <laughs> But yeah, that'll about do it for what is an actually pretty affordable device that is made available globally uh, under the name the Mi Note 10. In China, this is the Mi CC9 Pro. If you follow my channel, you know I'm a fan of Xiaomi devices. This is no exception. Uh, I think it is a very solid, general, everyday device that happens to be powered by a good mid-range processor in the Snapdragon 730G. Still good for gaming. And the only time I ever noticed any slowdown that actually impeded my workflow was when I was waiting for those 108 megapixels 
pixel photos to be processed. I kind of give that a pass though because that's a lot of data to actually go through. But in any case, I want to know what you think about this real world camera test using this particular phone. It was another nice little vlog. I haven't done one of these in a little bit, uh, but I want to know what you all thought about the video quality, the photo quality, the vlog mode, even with that little uh, Peter McKinnon-esque logo that shows up at the end of the 16-ish second clip. And then also let me know what kinds of things you want to see in the full review. Do you have any questions? I'll try to be in the comment sections as much as possible. Uh, and yeah, uh, I'm going to go ahead and call it on this one. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Don't forget to watch my first impressions video on this phone over at Pocket Now. Drop some likes on that video as well and get into the comment sections. I'm going to continue looking at these photos. That's why I have this laptop here. I was actually editing this uh, kind of live while I was doing this uh, A-roll segment. But in any case, I'm going to call it on this one. Thank you so much for watching. And I would just remind you to enjoy your tea, everybody.